Shout out to Jamie Collingwood. Okay, so here is the longer Pink Floyd song I spoke of. This is Dogs Off the Animals album. The album is a concept album based on George Orwell book Animal Farm. The various animals are allegorical, pigs being akin to CEOs, politicians, etc. Dogs being the businessmen, generals, etc. And sheep, the common everyday folks who don't notice all the danger around them. Anyways, the song Dogs features some amazing guitar solos, and while melancholy in tone, is a bit more upbeat for Pink Floyd. Hope you enjoy. Thank you. Thank you very much, Jamie. Okay, so this is a 17 minute video, which means I drink a whole lot of coffee to get through this because you guys know I can't sit still for too long. And Jamie, thank you so much for your donation. He made a very generous donation because this is a very long song. So let's get to it. different I feel very transported to I felt like the 60s but no it says 77 all Pink Floyd albums are equally great but some are more equally great than others dogs echoes shine on you crazy diamond too long too short I did not know Pink Floyd until 79 I bought animals dark side of the moon and the wall in one whack at Target in Memphis and the world has never been the same my dog just thought the barks were real and started barking that was a week ago. All animals are equal, but some animals are more equal than others. If you do that again, I'm going to pass out at 340. And then at 1406, I died. Listening in 2019, going to listen to it forever. Okay. Oh my gosh, I've been hearing them since I was a teen, 57 now. Headphones, falling asleep, looking at stars, enough said. Let's go. This isn't a 17 minute song, it's a 17 minute experience. Well said, well said. Gosh darn it, my neighbors. Let's go. You have to be trusted by the people that you lie to.
love that. I love how they went from this whole kind of scene and then they just kind of shifted gear and just went down. And now it's completely <sighs> another relaxing album so far. That's how I feel. I feel like, okay, they're going to tell me a story. A peaceful story. May not be, but it feels like it. And I only stop because I don't need to get blocked on this. I would be crazy mad. Glimmers. Gilmore's heart is in all his notes. Genius. If Pink Floyd fails to touch your soul, then baby, you don't have one. I love people and their opinions. You've got to be trusted by the people that you lie to. Okay. The drumming in the song is fantastic. It's honestly amazing. I'm surprised people aren't commenting about it. Well, now I will, wackas. Doctor, you have 17 minutes to let me listen to this. I'm going to watch Dave Chappelle. If I'm going to die in 17 minutes, we're watching Dave Chappelle. The end, I'm going to die laughing. So, mm. Mm. Who was born in a house full of pain? Who was trained not to spit in the fan? Who was told what to do by the man? Who was broken by trained personnel? Who was fitted with collar and chain? Who was given a pat on the back? Who was breaking away from the pack? Who was only a stranger at home? Who was ground down in the end? Who was found dead on the phone? Who was dragged down by the stone? Damn. Please stop with your neighbor threw a brick in my window to hear the song better. I'm going to start banning you guys. Not really. There's nothing I can do. Just not read them. that I need a second I need a second hold on <sighs> that was nice that was some beautiful guitar playing come on how are you doing here how 
you know what, I just give up. I give up trying to figure out why people even bother. Why would you listen to Pink Floyd and then just decide, I'm going to put a thumbs down? I don't get it. Why would you go someplace already with that mindset? I don't get it. I don't know. Whatever. <sighs> just had to say that. Dark symbolic song that used to haunt me over my anger and past abuses. You gotta throw that stone of hatred off before it drags you down. Amen, Terry Tyler. How the F can this sound? Thank you! Perry to Perry Toneth? Mm. How the F can this sound have 280 dislikes? Even my dog loves this song. Our cat's voting is down. Shut up. I like that comment. You're a funny person, dude. The entire album reflects every aspect of human nature, basically violence in an orderly fashion. Brilliant. Sweet guitar at 342, no doubt about it. Some of Gilmore's best work. Darn you, Perry, why did you have to make me laugh? In 2030, I'm gonna come back here and reply to this comment because I'll still be listening to this song. I like that, Matthew, do that. Sad old man, all alone and dying of cancer. Powerful words to live by. Man, I wish I didn't know that because that was one of the last patients that I took care of. But he wasn't alone. In fact, most of his family was also dying of cancer. The best part is uh, 0 to 1705, which means the whole track. You gotta be crazy to not like Pink Floyd. Louis Estrada raps, yeah. This song makes, please stop, Shannon. I'm sorry, but no one ever comes close to Pink Floyd. Their music is beyond a doubt the absolute best. Some bands, if not most, are one-hit wonders, but for Floyd to continuously deliver masterpiece albums after albums just blows me away. So thankful that David, Sid, Ro Roger, Rick, and Nick crossed paths and decided to make music. Lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. All right, now we can go. You'll reap the harvest you have 
It's really incredible all the things that you think about when this is going on. <clears throat> I was thinking about, where are we? Did we just go to some other realm? Did we get beamed up? It's just, it's sad and I don't want to be sad, you know? All of this, it just blends so well together. There's nothing more that I can say except for when that guitar hits even the drums all of it the you know the melodious sound of the voice and the lyrics with the drums with the guitar I mean no wonder this is considered a masterpiece no wonder you know I mean I'm not against sad music not in any way and I don't know if this is considered sad but it's about topics that people just aren't comfortable with I have no problem with it whatsoever but you know just just be prepared there might be some people in the comments that might not be too happy might not be. this song is so far out I'm already listening to it in 2020 nice been listening to this record for over 30 years and it never gets old Pink Floyd forever facts Roger wasn't trained not to spit on the fan at 1407, the saddest electric guitar motif, that cry in history. Doctor, you have 17 minutes to live. Me, watching this. Doctor, this is 1705. God, don't worry. I like that. This album was inspired by George Orwell's book, Animal Farm. That's exactly what Jamie had told me. If that is not one of the most heartbreaking guitar solos ever, I don't know what is. This might be David Gilmore's best guitar work. Very underrated Floyd song and album. This came out when I was 13. A friend's older sister bought the album. It was the first Floyd I ever listened to. It has been my favorite album ever since. Some years later, I played Pigs on the Wing at my wedding. The reason I'm listening to it today is that we are fostering a dog that we want to adopt and I need to be sure of something. He gave the exact reaction to the barking dog they wanted. He went from, he went from sound asleep to protect at the first set of barking dogs. We'll keep him as long as he lives. Hmm. Masterworks like this should be excluded from thumbs down. Absolutely, Victor. Absolutely. I'm not even, I don't even know much about Pink Floyd, but I know enough to know that this does not deserve not a one thumbs down. Not a one. Now, if you're going to give Led Zeppelin a thumbs down, it's because you're extremely jealous. And that's all I see the thumbs down for. For Led Zeppelin, that's it. It's just, you're just petty. But this, wow, you just hate music, I guess.
confused Sometimes it seems to me As if I'm just being used Gotta stay awake, gotta try and shake off This creeping malaise If I don't stand by I live in Hawaii and I am staring at a massive at the massive arms of the Milky Way galaxy reaching across the midnight sky. Life is good. Animals is perhaps their most underrated album. 2018 anyone? Bah, I would listen to this song until the day I die and my descendants too and their descendants. Remember folks, treat others now how you want to be treated. That was a quick 17 minutes. I think this album is more like a rock opera song flows into each other. Love this album. In the 70s, we heard way more after smoking a joint. I used to smoke pot and listen to this while playing Team Fortress 2. Such a trip. Gilmore's habit of lovingly holding each note just a bit longer. Either you love this song or you weren't aware of its existence. There you go. I can't believe I'm listening to Pink Floyd until now. It's like finding gold. This is the best progressive rock song ever recorded. You don't listen to Pink Floyd. You experience them. The dying out of cancer party seemed like laughing at the man in a bad way. Then to make it up for that instance of bad deed, a tributal apologizing solo follows. This is a mad genius. The greatest 17 minutes of my worthless existence. If you studied your Floyd properly, you'd know that pigs could fly. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Let's go. It seems to you the thing to do would be to isolate the winner. Everything's turned under the sun. Just taking that in is like taking the best deep breath of your life. It's so much nourishment. <sighs> Even though the lyrics are tragic to me, coming from a situation where I've had to watch people who have cancer and watching their loved ones, 
and then but the dichotomy is listening to this kind of musical genius with their instruments i never heard instruments sound sad how they can do that and make it seem so lovely at the same time that's what's exceptional to me and i don't know much about pink floyd i really don't but I know that this is great, great work. experience truly it's no secret it's no secret I don't like doing songs that are this long I feel that I get sleepy and then I start getting tired and it just takes away from the whole experience so I do not like to do them at all um, the majority of the time I just refund people their money back this one I did not because uh, Jamie had waited so long for me to do this also, it's Pink Floyd, and I've been wanting to do something Pink Floyd, so those two things were in mind, and then, of course, Jamie is a, um, just a phenomenal person, and knows, hey, this is not just a $5 request, and it's not a $10 request, this is 17 minutes of request work, so... That's why I did it, and it was all those things, um, and I'm and I'm very grateful. I never take that for granted, um, but most of the time I I won't touch anything over 15 minutes. I'll knock out. I won't. I can't sit still. If I sit still long enough, I will just fall asleep. You can ask any of my day ones because um, even during lives, sitting here I'd be like, it's just I'm not used to it. Anyway. I know that you guys heard everything that I said during the whole Pink Floyd uh, track. It was surreal. It was like being transported, de transported definitely to a different time. But the lyrics were very relevant to what's going on now in a lot of cases, in a lot of situations. Um, but at the same time, it kind of had a warmth to it where it was like, come here, I'll hug you while this is going on. It was just immaculate, really immaculate. So that's my take. And I got to keep going. I owe people still more requests. <laughs> doesn't end. It doesn't end. It doesn't stop. Love you guys.